hi everyone in the previous video we had a look on uh, how we can uh, use a for loop and uh, to display the numbers using a variable i okay so variable values varying values how we can display using a for loop so today we will see a blink thing okay um, maybe like led blinking thing how we can do with the for loop so let's assume a scenario i want to display or i want to switch on five led bulbs okay five leds in particular five pins okay uh, in one second delays just switching on that means um initially all are off so first led on then after one second other led on other led on other after one second other led on after one second other led on and after one second other one l on and after one second the fifth one is on so this is what i want to do so normally how we normally do is we write uh, first the pin mode right so i will write the typical way first okay pin mode so please pay attention if you don't understand this you should go have a look on the for loops in the last two videos okay so in the proper order you can go and have a watch and come back if you don't understand so okay so let's say the pins are um five six seven eight nine okay five okay so you write output is that correct or not this is correct so because one led is in the pin number five other led is pin number six other led is pin number seven other led is in pin number eight and the final led is in the pin number five nine because we have five leds in five pins okay that's cool no okay that's cool so now what i will do is i will I'm sorry this thing happens because I am using mobile so I'm using mobile because um, I feel it is easy and convenient I can make as much as videos possible very fast if I take computer I will have to use a screen recorder and uh, you know I will have to record the audio and it's it's a bit hard to me like personally to me right so why am I re retyping it instead of pasting it okay paste and this is coming here okay paste oh my god this is a pain when we are doing in the mobile so so five six so you know how to do this right pin mode we have to tell input or output right eight and nine so now so to switch on the led what do we have digital right whatever that particular led pin right so we will write digital right okay first which one is high pin number five is high yes or no yes there's no question on that okay then what do we have to do we are to give a one second delay okay so we will write delay thousand that means thousand milliseconds you know all those things in the from the previous videos now what i will do is i will i am going to copy paste this what is the copy paste thing okay what is an next led i am going to switch on after one second pin number six yes or no yes so i'll paste this and i'll change it as six okay do you understand this so we switch on led pin number five first then we wait one second and we switch on the second led that is on the pin number six and we wait for one second so again after one second we will switch on the other led okay we are not switching off let's switch on okay so here pin number seven and uh, Oh damn boy. Then pin number eight. Okay. So the same thing happens, right? And oh my god. <laughs> the problem with using a mobile. Okay. So pin number nine. So you can see the scenario is first LED switch on and a one second delay, second LED switch on, one second delay, third LED switch on, one second delay, fourth LED switch on. One second delay, fifth LED is switch on, one second delay. And again, first LED is going to be switched on as because the void loop is going to repeat. But since at the first time the first LED is switched on, we didn't switch off it anywhere. So it is going to be on. So the second iteration will not be uh, able to notify it because it is already on. So first time we can see one time all the five LEDs are switching on in one second delay. So if you want to see it again, you can press the reset button in the Arduino so that the program will uh, get deleted and rerun again.
okay so then you can see all the five leds are switching on in one second delays anyway that is not our question so now we can see we have a lengthy code to some extent so if you have let's say arduino has 100 pins and if you want to switch on all the 100 leds in this scenario one second gaps then your code will become 100 lines yes or no 100 lines and delay also so 200 lines 200 lines okay so that's a problem no so if, if you are write the void setup part also so that is another 100 lines so uh, 300 lines so very big code so what we can do is you can we can loop it in a particular way so what i see is i can see this part okay this part okay this part is repeating again and again so digital write and delay are coming again and again you see you see see it's next i am sorry i am not able to select it what's happening okay again second time and again third time in the line number 15 16 17 18 19 20 so like fifth five times it is repeating so we can use a for loop to repeat it instead of writing all the five line ten lines together so but the problem is it is not hundred percent same see the uh, uh, value is changing in each, each and every operation see number five is five this this number value is changing five then it is six see then it is seven okay the, because the, we, we want different pins to be switched on then it is nine so the one value is changing so if a value is changing we have to print the changing value here the rest of the thing we can keep same but this changing value should be a varying value so there must be a way to do it okay so how we can do it i will show you how you can we can do this using a for loop okay i will first show then you will understand what happens first i will write a four first i will say int i <coughs> int i uh, i will see what is the initial value of this uh, uh, pin five okay i will tell you what i have done later i'm not starting from zero okay five then i will say i'm sorry uh, five is not being assigned here so i will say first int i <clears throat> the for loop i will assign the initial value as five okay five and then i is less than or equal to what is the highest value nine okay nine okay nine come on guys then i plus plus because we are increasing by one number see number one i five plus one six seven eight nine so one number one so i plus plus means i is equal to i plus one okay wait i will show you what happens so then i will open the for loop and close it okay now i will write the small piece of code this piece of code because this is the same piece of code we are going to repeat no? I, I have to repeat this so let me see whether i can copy this thing uh, it seems i can't okay i will copy this part first copy paste okay then i will copy the delay and uh, manually type the delay that's also fine so this thing is going to be repeating right because we are switching on, switch on and we are switching on an led then we give one second delay and we switch on switch on other led when we give we give one second delay and switch on other led so switching on the led giving one second delay switching on the led giving one second delay is the thing that is going to repeatedly happening right so the problem is here it is five so what will happen is now in this case what will happen is when i is equal to five so a variable i is assigned as five and this digit this this for loop will check the condition so five is less than nine so here wherever the arrow is you can see five is less than nine so that is true so then it will get into the for loop and it will switch on the led number five and it will give one second delay and it will again come where come to this for loop okay and it will check the condition okay so before checking the condition we know this i is being incremented at the end of the first iteration okay so now the new i is six and now we will come and check the condition so you can have a look on my previous if condition so that you will understand what i am talking okay that is very much important otherwise it will be a very confusing to you okay so now i is six so six is less than or equal to nine is true so we will get into this and we will again switch on pin number five so it is already switched on we again switch on so it doesn't make any sense it will be on the again the after the one second delay 
this i is increased by 1 so 6 plus 1 is new i is 7 so 7 means so we will come and check 7 less than 9 is true so again we will get into the for loop and again switch on pin number 5 so until i become 9 so when i become 9 also this is true because less than or equal to 9 is true 9 is less than or equal to 9 is true so at that time also uh, the fin number 5 will be on so when i is equal to 5 6 7 8 and 9 so for all the five times this pin is going to be on so the problem is what we have only pin number 5 so every time pin number 5 is going to be on that doesn't make any sense five times it making it switch on because one time you switch on until you switch it off it is going to be on so one time on is on and our purpose is we have to change the value you see it should be 5 always 5 6 6 in the second iteration 7 in third iteration 8 in the third fourth iteration and 9 in the fifth iteration so what we have to do is we have to replace the 5 with the variable number so that is why i used i in a smart way so what i will do is i will replace this value with the i so that is why i have 5 and 9 here otherwise if i want to make it 5 times i can start from 0 to 4 or 1 to 5 the values but here i use 5 and 9 because i am going to use i in a smart way what i am going to do is i will replace i here so in the first iteration i is equal to 5 so instead when we run this line the digital write i high so what is i value it is 5 so 5 will be replaced here so pin number 5 will be on then we will give one second delay we will come here before we come in here we do this plus plus operation so we are here okay here we do it but we write it here don't worry okay so you know the if condition functionality sorry for for loop functionality so now the new i is i 5 plus 1 6 so we will come and check this condition so i is 6 6 is less than or equal to 9 it is true so we will get into this follow we will we will do this so here what was the value i so what is the now what is the i value 6 so 6 will be replaced here understood so then one second delay again i will be increased by 1 okay so now the new i is 7 so 7 is less than or equal to 9 it is true 7 will be replaced yes or no yes then again after one 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 second delay new i is 8 8 is less than or equal to 9 drew 8 will be replaced okay then one second delay and we will increase i by 1 so the new i is 9 so 9 is less than or equal to 9 is true so here i will be 9 so 9 will be replaced so 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 leds we are switching on in one second delays just choosing this follow so after the 9 is here so we will come here and again we will increase this i by 1 the new i is 10 so we will come and check here 10 is less than or equal to 9 is false so we will skip this for loop and we will come here okay and we'll go to the next line so you see this every this this very big line of code 5 6 7 8 9 the replacing thing is being replaced by a small for loop understood if the pins are from 5 to 15 we just have to replace it like this so we can run up to 15 leds so 10 leds that means we start from 5 to 15 so if we are to do it here we are write a long coding after this another six or seven lines okay sorry double that means another uh, uh, because we, we write two lines for each led you know so digital right and right and delay so another six means 12 lines we are write extra so we remove all these things we remove all these things so if you don't understand you should watch my previous videos there's no no question on that oh did i delete that oh my god that's painful okay so we remove all these things i will rewrite that okay it's not going to be a big deal to me okay so by mistake i deleted this and i don't think there's an undo button here okay so you can just uh, you know go back in the video and have a look if you want to have a look otherwise i will write it it's just a simple follow-up yes or no yes okay so what i will write was uh, i say it in die okay four okay come on i is equal to five so you now you understand why i use these numbers for five times from five to nine less than or equal to nine i plus plus okay then what we do is we simply do this and we say um i'm sorry 
digital right so i am just repeating what i have done because i have mistakenly deleted that so there's a problem with these uh, using phones you know, i okay i hi okay so i'll give a delay thousand all good right so this is all i have to do so very simple so in the void setup also i wrote this pin mode think for all the five lines so there also we can replace it so how we can replace it is so if you want to have that reference uh, because i'm a bit lazy to write that thing you can uh, how to say go back reverse the video and have a look on how it was written in in five lines so i'm going to make it short uh, i'll write the follow up here so five to nine nothing wrong so i will re replace it because already earlier i wrote pin mode five pin mode six pin mode five five output pin mode six output pin mode seven output and pin mode eight output and pin mode nine output so here i will what i will do is instead of that i will write pin mode i output okay so now what will happen is first iteration i will be replaced by five so pin mode five output command will be implemented then in the next iteration of the follow up will come here and i will be incremented the new i is six so this condition is true this condition is true so here i will be replaced by six so pin mode six output then i will be increased incremented by one the new i is seven six plus one seven seven is less than nine is equal to true so here i will be replaced by seven so pin mode seven output again uh, i will be incremented by one so new i is 8 8 is less than 9 is true pin mode 8 output then again plus 1 so that means i is 9 so 9 is less than or equal to 9 is true so pin mode i output that means pin mode 9 output again i will be incremented by 1 so new i is 10 i is 10 uh, 10 is less than 9 is false so we will skip the follow we will come to the next line and again next line there's nothing so we come out of the void setup because we run it only one time and we'll get into the void loop and we will do the same scenario in, in, into the void loop. And I forgot to do something. I have to declare the i here. Because um, i i is local variable for each and every loop. Now because here also I declared i into the within this variable loop. So this i is only i can only be accessed by this loop. So here I am using the i. Using, I need to use another i here. So please remember these are two houses. Void setup is one house and void loop is another house so there's a person called i within this loop so he is owned by only this loop so here's another person called i within this house so he is owned by only this house understood so there are two different i's you can remember or you can give another name you can give it as j it is also fine that is that doesn't matter it's just a variable name right so you can change everywhere j just for your clarity if you want okay so nothing changes so if you don't understand this void loop that variable think you have to watch my tutorials from the beginning i have explained it in the previous videos so now what you have to do is you have to simply connect the variables uh, leds from pin number five to nine and you can see what happens actually and your code is very very small so if i if you have to connect leds from pin number five to twenty in the mega so you can change it as twenty here also you can change it as twenty so you don't need to write extra twenty lines or thirty lines just changing some value is enough so that's the beauty of the follow so still if you don't understand this you have to watch my follow ups from the beginnings there are three videos i think apart from that uh, with including this you have to start from the first video then you will understand what i have done okay so i think now you had some application wise understanding about how you can use follow up in the arduino so if you don't understand uh, please watch it again watch from the beginning of the series videos like uh, at least beginning of the follow up series and then you will get some ideas so if you have any questions still you can ask in the comments i will try to explain it i will be very happy to listen from you so please consider subscribing us until then then until i meet you again have a great day ahead bye